The Boat That Broke Gucci. I'm Jason Horton. I'm Rebecca Lieb. And this is Ghost Town. If you've read the incredible book, The House of Gucci by Sarah Gay Forden, yes, it's the one that the 2021 movie starring Lady Gaga and Adam Driver was based on, you might recall the stunning 200-foot wooden yacht that Maurizio Gucci bought and remodeled at the height of his control over the Gucci brand. The boat, called the Creole, was notoriously cursed and with it brought death, destruction, and ghosts. That's for you to decide. Today, we're talking about the Creole and its curse that spanned millionaires and generations. Built in 1927, its first owner was all-American millionaire, Yale alum, and industrialist Alexander Cochran. Christened the Vera, it was the largest wooden sailing yacht ever constructed. In the words of veteran photographer Gilles Martin Raget, the boat was, quote, outside all the norms of size, aesthetics, and history. And it would continue to be without its maker at the helm. Why? Because with all of its grandeur and glamour, Cochrane didn't have time to enjoy the yacht. He died suddenly of cancer in 1929. His heirs sold the boat to a man named Maurice Pope, a British yachtsman who renamed his new purchase the Creole after a particularly delicious dessert invented by his personal chef. The ship's name change was not a good move. If you're familiar with ships or sailing culture at all, I'm not, and even I knew this wasn't kosher. Sailors think that renaming ships is very, very bad luck. The origins of this go back to Greek and Italian folklore, saying that when a boat is christened, its name goes into the Ledger of the Deep, an old book of ships owned by Poseidon himself. When a boat is renamed, Poseidon is insulted, and yes, the ship's owners pay dearly for their name-swapping hubris. But nothing happens like that to the Creole. The rest of the owners just live peacefully and uneventfully, right? No, just kidding, of course they don't. In 1937, the Creole was bought by financier Sir Connop Guthrie, who had just been made a baronet. Guthrie was a dedicated sailor who restored Creole's rig and keel and raced her successfully until the Second World War, when the British government requisitioned the Creole as a mine-hunting ship they named the Magic Circle. Yes, another name change, I know. In 1953, the boat was purchased by Greek billionaire and playboy Stavros Niarchos, restoring the war-torn Creole to its pristine condition Niarchos made an addition, an upper deck cabin, as he refused to sleep below deck for fear of drowning. Niarchos loved the Creole until two tragedies struck. In May 1970, the Creole was docked on Niarchos' private island, Spetsopola, in the Aegean. With Niarchos was his wife, Eugenio Livanos, and her sister, Christina. What happened that night was disputed, but the official version is that Eugenia killed herself with an overdose of barbiturates. At a postmortem on the mainland, the pathologist reported severe bruising on Eugenia's body, and the investigation began. Niarchos was cleared, but a witness says Eugenia had caught Niarchos trying to force himself upon her sister, and a violent fight broke out. Soon after, Niarchos went on to marry Eugenia's sister, yes, the one who was there, who he may or may not have forced himself on, Christina Livanos. In 1974, she also overdosed and died. Heartbroken, Niarchos swore to never set foot on the Creole again, selling his once pride and joy to the Danish Navy in 1977. The Danes put the ship to use. It was repurposed in the late 70s as a floating rehab clinic. I am not joking. And let's take a little break. What up, y'all? I'm Tim Chantarangsu, one half of the hilarious food podcast, Dudes Behind the Foods. My boy David So and I have spent the last four years traveling and eating and drinking together all over the country, and we have some strong opinions, as well as hilarious stories about the world, the people in it, and what they put in their disgusting, beautiful mouths. As the dudes behind the foods, we have been very drunk on many occasions, and we have all types of shenanigans we want to share with you. But between you and me, the convo isn't just about food. It goes everywhere from relationships to family to which way my penis curves to the right. But at the end of the day, it's all about a shared love of culture, experience, and people. Y'all can listen to us on Apple, Spotify, and just anywhere you get your podcasts. And if you love it, you should follow and subscribe for a glorious buffet of laughs, conversation, and of course, food. Okay, we are back, and now Maurizio Gucci enters the picture. Gucci, who in 1982 buys the Creole on a massive spending spree. His then-wife, Patrizia Gucci, was a huge 
psychic fan, mystic. She loved kind of the metaphysical arts. She used psychics and healers near constantly and was immediately suspicious of the boat. She told her husband that there was a negative aura lingering on the boat, which was not great news for Maurizio, who had set into motion a multi-million dollar restoration on the boat. Not to stop the spending train, Maurizio docked the Creole at Italy's La Spezia shipyard and had a psychic come exercise any spiritual riffraff. Accompanied by Maurizio was his wife Patrizia, two crewmen, and the psychic named Frida. They all boarded the ship and decided to figure out what was going on. Sarah Gay Forden sets the scene saying, At first, Frida walked about the ship in a trance. Finally, the five came to an open corridor. Open the door, open the door, she cried. As far as the ghost hunting party could see, there was no door, just a hallway. Then a dark look came across the face of one of the crewmen. Before Maurizio's recent renovations, there had been a door right in this exact spot. How did Frida know a door had been there? The psychic then strolled towards a nearby kitchen. She demanded to be left alone. This puzzled the group until one of the crewmen explained. This had been the kitchen where Eugenia's body was found. At this moment, a gust of cold wind ran past them. Frida informed Maurizio, Patrizia, and the crew that the exorcism was complete. It's over, Frida said. There are no more evil spirits on the Creole. Eugenia's ghost promised me that from now on, she will protect the Creole and its crew. And then everything was fine. No, of course it wasn't fine. Maurizio Gucci was charged with tax fraud, money laundering, and illegally acquiring funds that were, of course, used to buy and refurbish the Creole. You may know this, again, from the movie, so if you haven't seen the movie, watch it and come back. But Maurizio was later acquitted, and in massive debt, his life was in shambles, trying to pick back up the pieces. In 1993, Maurizio sold his share in Gucci, the last family member of the company his grandfather started back in 1921. The buyout was a not-so-modest $170 million, so Gucci kept the Creole, and a couple years later, Maurizio Gucci was killed mafia-style by his vengeful ex-wife, Patrizia. Maurizio's daughters, Allegra and Alessandra, inherited the Creole and maintain her to this day. The Gucci sisters say the Creole keeps their father's memory alive, but a curse? No comment on that. I don't care. I'm going to keep renaming all of my boats. I have a lot of boats. I'm very wealthy, and I am going to rename them. Angie's List is now Angie, your home for everything home. And as any homeowner knows, caring for the place where you live can take, well, a lot of care. Luckily, Angie doesn't have just 20 plus years of home service experience. They've combined it with new tools to simplify how we tackle home care. Just bring them to your project online or with the Angie app. Answer a few questions and Angie will handle the rest from start to finish or... Let you compare quotes from local pros and professionals and connect instantly, which means you can cross things off your to-do list in just a few taps. And when you book and pay through Angie, you will get their happiness guarantee, covering your project up to the full purchase price. So whether it's routine maintenance or a dream remodel, Angie makes it easy to get the job done. Let's start the year and your next project off right. Download the Angie mobile app today or visit Angie.com. That is A-N-G-I dot com. How long does it take to tackle a home project? With Angie, you could cross it off your list before this ad is over. Just tell us what you need. Indoor or outdoor, repair or redesign, and we handle the rest. Sending a top pro to get it done. You don't have to lift a finger, except to tap the screen or click the mouse. Plus, Angie is free to use. So bring us your next home project, and we'll bring it home. Download the app or go to Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com to get started. Angie's List is now Angie, your home for everything home. With Angie, you could cross your next project off your to-do list before this ad is over. Just tell us what you need, and we'll handle the rest. Sending a top pro to get it done. Or browse reviews, compare quotes from pros, and connect instantly. All for free. For everything from routine maintenance to a dream remodel. Because however you want your project done, we'll get it done. Download the app or go to Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com to get started.